Brandon here and time for another episode of Sex Expertise. Today's question is, what is the difference between dating, exclusive, and in a relationship? Well, this is all pretty much new to me. Like, I never even heard of all these different stages until like a couple years ago. And I feel like it's very like, I don't know if it's a black thing, if it's a southern thing. But like, I honestly never grew up thinking like, we're dating, but we're not in a relationship. Because to me, if I'm saying I'm dating you, that means I'm in a relationship with you. Because I feel like... I'm not claiming you if we're not official or exclusive or in a relationship. So it's like, I prefer the term seeing each other because like if we don't have a title, we're not exclusive, then yeah, I'm seeing you. But I feel like I'm not dating you because to me, I feel like dating sounds serious. Like dating to me means we're committed. Like we are consistent. Like this has been going on. <laughs> it's not like brand new. And then it's like when people think of like talking, I feel like talking to me is like, that's like the first step. Talking is like when you are like just messaging on an app. I feel like if you're like going maybe on one date or you're planning that first date or like we're messaging each other because we're interested in each other. To me, like that's talking. Maybe you're talking on the phone. <laughs> but to me, I feel like if you've gone on multiple dates with someone, then I feel like, okay, it's becoming consistent. Then I feel like that's what people think of as dating. Because it's like dating as you're going on dates, you're seeing this person, but you can also be dating other people. So you can be going on dates with other people too and seeing other people. So I guess that's why it gets confusing to me. Because like for me, dating was like, okay, if I feel like I'm dating, that's my boyfriend. But for other people, it's like if you're dating, it's just like, it doesn't mean anything. It's just like we're going on dates, but it's not like we're not committed. We're not together. We're not official. We're not in this relationship. We're not in a relationship. We're just seeing each other, going on dates, sleeping over, hooking up but we're not committed and that's where the whole exclusive comes in because when you're exclusive it's like you're still not in a relationship but we're only seeing each other so we know like you're not dating other people i'm not dating other people we're focusing on each other and making sure that we work before we decide to make things official and enter a relationship to me that seems like another unnecessary step because i feel like okay when you say you want to date me or make things exclusive. I feel like, how are you ready to be exclusive but we're not in a relationship? To me, that made no sense. So I kind of just kind of like, I never in the past, I believed in being exclusive until like, we are in a relationship. Cause I just felt like, what's the point? How are you wanting to be with me and only me, but you're not ready to be my boyfriend? To me, that just never made any sense. Cause it's like, if you want to be with me and only me and I want to be with you and only you, why don't we have a title? <laughs> why aren't we official? Why aren't we boyfriends? And I feel like I never heard of this until I really started dating, like, only dating black men. Like, because even though I never dated, I mean, I've only been in relationships with black men, too. And I've only maybe consistently dated black men, too. But I just never heard of, like, the whole, like, dating but not exclusive. Exclusive but not in a relationship. And now in a relationship, it's something completely different. <laughs> so it, to me, it still feels like a bunch of random necessary steps. But... The inner relationship is when you've gotten past the dating stage, you got past the exclusive stage, and now you're ready to make things official and put a title on it, put a label on it, and I guess whatever that means. But like people handle dating differently. I mean, it is dating is different for everyone, but it's like some people will be like interesting to your friends and family and like the dating stage, and then it's like you're also like talking to other people. Are you interested in your friends and family too? Like that's just messy and complicated and trashy to me. It's like I feel like to me, I'm not introducing anyone to my family until like we're official like I know I want to be with you I know you're like my boyfriend but it's like I didn't introduce my boyfriend now but like we weren't officially in the relationship we were like exclusively dating so it's like it's a lot it's messy it's complicated and I feel like it is messier when you think of like well we're dating but we're not exclusive so it's like okay we're going on dates we're spending multiple days a week together we're talking every day but to me, to find out if you're doing that with other people, then it just feels like, okay, then this isn't special. Like, this is like, you're giving me the same energy you're giving somebody else. So to me, I feel like if you can do that to me and you can do that to someone else, it's like, it feels like you're wasting my time because it feels like, okay, like the things, like, to me, I'm not saying good morning text to everyone that, like, I talk to. It's like, I'm like the type of person like I don't like people that often so it's like you it has to be serious for me that I even want to be like consistent or like see you multiple times because honestly I feel like my maximum is like two dates until I'm like yeah I'm just not interested so I'm just like okay bye like I don't have the energy or effort to like continually see someone that I know like I'm not into you <laughs> like I know I don't want to be with you long term like I'm definitely the type of person that's like 
I know night one, day one, like, ooh, I really like this person. <laughs> and then hope it continues. So like the whole like we're dating, but not exclusive, that just doesn't sit well to me because then it's like to find out. And like, I have been in that position to find out like, okay, so the stuff you're doing with me, like even having me talk to like your friends on the phone when you call them in front of me or talking to you, like your coworkers, if you're doing that shit with other people, it really just ruins like what we have because it feels like you're giving me the same energy you're giving anyone else and then it's not special anymore. So it feels like I'm not special. Then it feels like, why am I thinking you're special if you're not treating me like I'm special? So like, <laughs> there's just certain things I won't do with someone if we're not like, if I don't like you. Like, again, there's no meeting my friends. There's no talking to anyone in my life. There's no like becoming a part of my life if I know like we're not together. <laughs> like, if we're just in the early stages where we are still like figuring out like and then again for me I'm not the type that takes long to figure out so it's like if I'm ready to be with you and you're not ready to be with me then I kind of usually like lose interest because I'm just like okay whatever bye <laughs> like and I knew I need to work on that and I did kind of do that differently for this relationship that I'm in now because this was like the first time I really like wanted to be exclusive and like and then he wasn't really exclusive and I thought he wasn't exclusive with me even though I thought we were exclusive so that just caused a whole bunch of drama and months to work over but I feel like it's definitely worth it like I'm glad I pursued it because it even it's differently than it did proceed differently than I'm used to in relationships like normally like we meet first night and then boom we're inseparable like we're all over each other all up on each other like obsessed with each other etc so maybe as I am older mature I need to learn about the whole different stages and maybe implement them I mean we did things differently this like we were dating for over three months before we became official we're like we're dating for three months yeah we were dating in September we first met we're exclusive in like November and then became official in January so yeah everything process took like two months and that was way too long for me because I definitely was losing patience after it was like three months and you weren't ready to be in a relationship but then luckily we did make things official a little after three months so yes these to me are the different stages dating you're seeing each other not exclusive yet not official you can still be dating other people you're talking to other people but to me, I think of talking is when you're first talking on the app, messaging, blah, 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 interested. Seeing each other is when we are seeing each other on different dates. I don't use the term dating unless we are like in a relationship, but dating is going on dates, seeing each other consistently. Exclusives when you decide that you don't want to see with anyone else. So you are officially together, but you're not in a relationship. But you are only seeing each other, talking to each other, hooking up with each other going on dates with each other, that is what exclusive is. And then finally, in a relationship, you both have the title, <clears throat> you can make it Facebook official, you can make it Instagram official, you're in a relationship, boyfriend's title. So yes, to me, that's the stages of dating. So thanks for joining me in this episode of Sex Routine.